Ya yeah boy is back showing you attack of the eagle and how to deal with it real smooth. As you see, can see I have completed all of these so I am to be trusted always um, or, 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 or so. <clears throat> Let's start off with Austria Prussian War. Now this first mission is surprisingly annoying for a first mission. It's not necessarily super difficult, but it's a bit of annoyance. So what you can just do is, what I did is not go head on with this city. I made like a little slash, so I went uh, from here, put obviously start off, you know, at all the generals. So you probably won't have as good generals yet as I have right now, but you will soon get them. So for example, you know, put Ivanov here, then you go and smash the city. Kabluch. What you can do is just you go via this city, you can go with all your units here, it's not that hard. Kill this guy, go over here, make a little turn, and like split your forces, so uh, you can send these guys over here, oh, they will kill this, so it will take like three, five, maybe five turns. You split your forces, half go here, half go here, and after a certain time, some Italian generals will spawn over here, some Italian boys, and they will help you take this down, so this city is not such a priority. Vienna is more, and after you kill Vienna, you can go after this city. Like I said, it's quite annoying actually for his first mission, but it's doable. Then, why does those put me over here? The Franco-Prussian War, I probably, I'll cover very briefly. Franco-Prussian War, it's only for later. Uh, full blast attack on Paris, and you will be fine. It's already quite hard. And after you take Paris, you just obviously set everything down here, but focus on Paris first. If you're looking to complete the Battle of Liège, this one is a bit less of an annoyance, but still quite annoying actually because these freaking uh, they called again? fortifications are here. You have to kill those fortifications at your best generals on the best artilleries. What I did here when I had this mission is I obviously put Ivanov, but I also put um, my navy general on it just to have as many generals and artillery as possible to really smash the city. And it's really the only objective to capture this, so it's not a lot of explanation. Smack it up, good. You can't auto it. Battle of the Frontiers. This one again isn't that crazy. You take this city, obviously, first, get the gold, make a little turn, and go here. What you can do, you can either go split now, take this city, or you can go afterwards. And I prefer to tell you here, just go after this city, and then go maybe here, and like this. It doesn't really play a big difference. This is an easier one. To be honest. Siege of Antwerpen. Siege of Antwerpen is again straightforward. Oh, okay. Excuse me. Can I can I please move my own units? Yeah, you have some good artillery, you have some good units. Smash the forts, smash the city, and be fast, because the Brits will you know one day will they will arrive. They won't did start from the beginning and help, I think. But again, you have good artillery, you should be able to just smash these things from afar. So you just hit them from about three blocks away and look at these things you can use those to your advantage if possible like here infantry little infantry pluses everywhere use those battle of the bees oh now we're suddenly in africa now this one at first seems terrible you're like what the hell i, I opened this mission and closed close it right again because so this, this is impossible just look you have like six units you need to take all of this but you uh, eventually a lot of units will spawn a fleet will spawn here i think a fleet also might spawn here units will spawn here uh, units will spawn here so it's not as hard with these guys, just focus on this. Don't try to split up and like do crazy things. You just go after this city, and then units will spawn over the place, and they will help you grab this. A little annoyance is to keep the ports, but you get a good fleet, and you get a navy general in the American campaign, so this should be doable. Battle of the Falklands. This, again, isn't that hard. I always love these intros where you have to skip. Hold three key points, so you, what you do is just... Well, first of all, you use your boys here, you put all your generals on these ships, obviously the strongest and the strongest, whoopsie daisy. So here you can, for example, add your best general, I don't know, maybe it's Grant or Bodhi or Ivanov. You go and smash this little fleet here. Kill this guy if you can soon, because I will drop the moral of all the units. Every time something is green marked, it was going to drop the moral. So that's what you should try to do. Kill this boy, send your fleet after this guy here, and then you go and help here. You only have to keep, I think... Three key points, so you will lose this one, I think, or one of them you will lose. This one you'll lose, definitely. And this one you might lose as well. This, I actually think I might should keep it, but yeah, pay attention. Don't lose yours, obviously. Battle of Doggerbank. Uh, I don't think I'm going to look at all the premium. Ah, do you know what? I'm screwed. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Doggerbank. So if you really want to completely do it, this one is a bit... Oh, this was annoying. I remember this one. Yeah. So you have to grab this port here you will get this fleet and you have to hold this thing here now 
interestingly enough, this is the hardest part. Keep this port. This fleet you really should use to send everything to try and go and help this fleet. These guys easily can deal with this ship. Don't go and fight these here. You just go after this. Hold it. Put a general there. Smash it up. Smash this for this thing here as soon as possible. Smash the U-boats as soon as possible. And then it's okay. And yeah. With these guys, you invest all your resources up here. You don't build anything down here. You build everything up here. Don't build any ships, interestingly enough. Build infantry every turn, and then you put them here, and you put them in this harbor. And they're gonna hold. I don't quite know why, and maybe at the end, if you still have enough resources for one ship, that'd be great as well. But don't build ships because they're too expensive, and they're gonna get destroyed either way. Battle of Verdun. This one's pretty straightforward as well. This city is easy to take. Kill it off. Afterwards, turn around, go here, kill this city, go kill this city, and then this city. So it's just like a... You get assistance every time by your friends, and I think you, if I remember correctly, you might spawn some extra units. But it's mainly you doing the work. Kill this guy, he's pretty weak already. Put all your generals here, maybe not right on this horse. Actually, you should, no, you use this here instead of this cavalry. Pay attention, you have good starting units, and you'll do well. Battle of Jutl... Wait. Yeah, you learned in the end. You learned. This one, again, I didn't find too hard. I think I think I even autoed this. Or didn't I? Wait, how, what do you have to do exactly here? Hold one key point. Only one key point. Okay, oh yeah. So you can just do is You can go and fight a bit with this guy. You only have to hold one key point. You can fight a little bit, and then you can send him just down here. You can send this guy down here in this corner. And you'll win. These guys, you put all your generals on them and you fight. This guy, you can sit in the corner and you win. East Africa campaign, this will be a bit more relevant again for you boys. This is just a hold scenario. Now, I don't really remember this a lot. I think you have to go and help a bit against this offensive. They will not attack you. They will go down here. What you can do first is kill these guys off who are attacking your city. That's not going to be the hard part. What I managed to then do is take the city because they'll focus a bit on here. You go and take this city, then you like run behind the units because they will they will focus here. Take this city, and then they'll run down, attack this city. What you can do is just follow them. You go here, kill these guys, turn around, take this city, run around, kill this city, or take the city back, and then go and help here. And that should be fine. Maybe some units spawn here. You can just go and defend them. It's not that hard. I found this quite easy. Battle of Heligoland. A lot of naval combat actually for Germany. Oh, this one's a bit annoying. This one's a bit annoying. You have a huge fleet. Don't get distracted. Go for this canal, and this is so annoying because it's so slow here. You just bomb your way through. Take this. Don't really focus on anything else. Just really just go straight forward. Send everything in here. These ships will attack you. Just kill them on the way. You have a huge navy. Take this. Uh, what I did is just go through here. Kill this guy. This is a bit annoying, annoying blockage. So you send your generals first. Kill these guys. Don't send the weak ships because they need, they need to mop up later. Go take this port, obviously, and then you wrap around here and... Like, with your main force, you go here to kill this quickly. And then you send everything down here. And some of the split-off forces here also go and do some damage already on this ship. This battle here, the next one, is again quite straightforward. This is a hold the thing, hold the towns. You have to hold all three or just two? Two. Okay, I think uh, you can lose this one here. What you do, obviously, is kill these guys. You have very strong artillery. And weirdly enough, artillery, if you just look... Does some crazy damage on this here. Look, just look at this. 97. So this tank is already almost down. Yeah. Um, as I was gonna say, this guy, if he gets killed, he drops moral. You send some. You basically kill these guys and you send your support everywhere you can and where it's needed. It's a bit more of a attention task than actually like a skill task. And we still have the spring offensive. This one is just again of a bother. Because it's just so much to do, you have to send your guys here, kill this city, kill this city, kill this city. And then eventually, the point is, your main job is just to get the northern cities and help here. These here, your uh, allies will mainly take, even though it doesn't right, seem right like in the beginning. They will help a lot. You focus on the north, don't get distracted helping these guys. Just kill this, kill this, go and attack this, and it's probably already enough. Maybe we can split off a little bit here, yeah, then you can do it. And to the final mission, Battle of Amiens. This one again, very straightforward. Hold the point. I found it pretty easy. I think I only have to hold two again. So you just don't... You can go and fight a little bit. If you have generals who heal, 
and let them heal. At this point, you can hold for quite long, I found. If you just always replenish it with a militia each turn, you have a ton of resources. Use those resources wisely. Build always again new infantry here. Militias in the beginning, later on you build some light infantry. When you lose it eventually, and you just have to go and help a bit everywhere. So you split up your forces, you help a bit where it's needed. This artillery goes down here, bombs a bit away. These guys go and help a bit, come back again. Yeah, just hold the points. These two at the end, they're the ones you have to hold. This one you might lose eventually. These two, you, this is very hard to lose, and this one, you just have to focus on this one. Berlin is probably not losable, if you're not too too <laughs> reckless. So yeah, that is the Attack of the Eagle German campaign. I hope this is useful. Write a comment how uh, I can help you further. I'm not sure if I'm going to do like, you know, like every individual mission, only if there's like a big request for one where everybody's struggling with. You write a comment, and if it gets enough likes, I will consider doing a video on it, but otherwise I'm just, you know, a bit lazy to do every single mission in a separate video thank you for watching have a nice i hope you enjoyed your holidays and bye